When you can't control what's happening to you, control how you respond to it. That's where your power is. Bravery is not the absence of fear. Bravery is feeling fear and moving forward anyway. Dreams without goals are just dreams. You cannot win the war against the world if you can't win the war against your own mind. Uh. <laughs> All right, so I did a, a live call today on the Clear Calculated and Vicious um, coaching group. And um, what I did beforehand is I got questions because I wanted to see what people wanted from me. And there was a very common question that I actually get a lot. And the question was, how do you ba balance your life between training and diet and traveling and your family and your friends and just life and animals? Like I have a very, very busy life. And how do I balance it all? And it, it's funny because right now I feel very balanced. I'm at a point in my life where balance is actually very important to me. Getting enough sleep is very important. Um, seeing friends, doing activities besides the gym is actually very important. But the only way I got here and I can now be balanced is because I spent a lot of years being completely out of balance. And I think if you want something in your life, you have a goal, you have a dream, and you wanna conquer something, you got to be so obsessed with it that when you wake up in the morning, that's all you think about. When you go to sleep, that's all you think about. During the day, that's all you think. Like literally a 24 hour a day job. And I had goals like that. Rob and I sat down and I wrote out all the things that I wanted to accomplish. I wanted to be a fitness model. I wanted to be on the covers of magazines. I wanted to write for magazines. I wanted to, I was a competitor. I wanted to get to the Olympia stage and I wanted all of these things. So I became so obsessed with that, that goal or many goals that my life was not balanced. Um, a lot of, you know, I think I get this question because it comes from uh, either a husband or a wife that you know, you have your significant other, or maybe you have kids and the family aspect. And I think us, uh, Rob and I, were both on the same page. He had his goals and he was working towards this. I had my goals and I was working to that. So we were both so completely not balanced with life. Like we thought about our thing that we were doing so much that, you know, we didn't focus on like, oh, are we going, hey, when are we going on vacation? Hey, when's date night? But the beauty in that was having two people so focused and out of balance that it actually made us so connected and actually so out of balance that we were balanced. And I think that's where I think people struggle is when you have one person wanting to do shit, wanting to progress, wanting these big goals and dreams, and then the other person isn't maybe the same or on board with you, that's where it's not gonna work. So you either have to have them create goals and start working towards something, or you need to somehow invite them in. Because if, if they don't feel like they're a part of it, they're on the outskirts, that's when it's not gonna work out. And I think that's the beauty of what we did is we both worked on our, our craft we, and we became the best at it. And luckily we actually even aligned it so it worked together. So for me to get to the very top, for me to be number one in the world, for me to be Miss Olympia, Rob supported me that whole way. And for Flagner Fail to get to where it's at, to be a brand that we're still doing 13 years later, I supported that. I helped get big so that more eyes were on it. So both of our goals, even though they were so opposite, we built them together. So you can either build them together or bring your partner into it so they feel more a part of it. And we had a lot of years, a lot of years where like, you know, our, our relationship wasn't at the forefront. But I think when you have a partner and you're both on the same page, working at the same pace, we knew like, 
hey man, I'm your ride or die. I'm going to be here to the end. And I know now we're at the point. Now we've conquered all the things. We're still conquering things. And now this is when like, cool, I can have balance. We can focus on ourselves. We can now like go on vacations and go on dates and do all the things. Uh, but you have to put all that extra time in ahead of time. It's just, we live in this weird world that everyone's a f influencer now. And there's no like, there's no like rule, but like, I was an influencer before influencers were even a thing. It, that wasn't even term. I, I became an influencer because I actually did something. And now it's like, you, if you have a iPhone, I'm an influencer. What have you done? What have you done? Like, why do people go to you? Are, are you number, like when I think of like the term influencer, I, I actually related it to like, I was having uh, another live call with uh, my, a coaching group and it's gonna be, it's a bunch of coaches. And I basically said like to them, cause they're coaches, people are coming to them because they, uh, are specialized in something. They they have they have a craft and they are the best at it, which brings people to you because people want the knowledge, they want wisdom from you, they want answers, um, and you give them the answers because you have done something to prove that you should be influencing people. And now we have just like little eighteen year olds that barely got out of high school and they're influencers. <laughs> Uh, the, the definition of what an influencer is, is someone that has influential power. I'll try not to use influence in the definition. You have power over people uh, to help them make decisions or purchases. You have a power. And the reason that I say I was an influencer before influencers were even a thing, because I, I did something. I did something, I show that I am the best at this thing. It is my niche, I am the best at this thing, so I have the knowledge of how to do this. So people look to me for answers and I can influence them. So diet and cardio and training, when you have done something and you have people come to you for knowledge, that's what I think an influencer is, but now, you know, you can buy check marks. You can you can just become an influencer if you have an iPhone. So what the heck do I know, honestly? Nothing.